is super exciting because this has been one of my most recently requested videos and I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my videos using iMovie. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, then definitely thumbs this video up and if you have other questions on other aspects of making videos or if you have other specific editing questions, then leave those down below in the comments and I will definitely answer them or make like a part two or something. And if you're new to my channel and you like this video, then definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos of mine. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how I do color correction and make my videos look brighter and more vivid. And I'm going to go over to this tool right here that looks like the paint wheel which is the color correction um, tool. So I like to take this little solid white dot and that is the brightness. So as you can see, the clip is getting a little bit brighter. And then the next part is the saturation. So I'm just going to adjust this up. And then I like to take this little like temperature tool and make it a little bit bluer. So now I'll play this clip so you can see the difference between um, with the saturation, the first part, and then how it used to look. So as you can see, like here it's super bright and then it gets really dull. So now I'm just going to show you guys one more quick tip so that you can quickly add these color corrections to all of your clips in your movie so that it doesn't take forever. So you just want to click the clip that has the color correction on it and copy that. So I'm just doing command C and then shift click to select all of your clips and then go up to the top where it says edit and click paste adjustments, color correction. Select that and all of your clips now have the same color correction so you don't have to individually change them all. So now I'm just going to show you guys how I put multiple overlays on tops of my videos because iMovie does not let you have that many layers but I figured out a trick so that I can do it without having Final Cut Pro. So you want to go to picmonkey.com which is just this free photo editing website and you're going to go to the design tab and click on custom and then you want to make your size um, 1920 by 1080. Once it loads you want to make it a transparent canvas so click that and then apply and now you're going to go to this little butterfly tool which is the overlay tool and choose the first um, overlay that you want to pop up on your video. So I'm just going to use a thumbs up button because or a thumbs up emoji because I use that a lot in my videos so I'm just going to kind of size it out to where I want it to be and stuff um, on the video. So I'll just put it in like the upper left corner and then save the image. So coming back to iMovie, I'm just gonna drag the thing PNG that we made in PicMonkey onto the clip. Now that you have the um, overlay into iMovie, you wanna come over here to the little first box tool and make sure it's a cutaway. And then to crop, you want to make sure it's fit and then just click the little check. I left mine open, so I'm gonna go back to your own and I'm just going to add in my second overlay, which is going to be a subscribe button. And of course, I'm gonna size it and kind of like put it where I want it. And you don't wanna touch your thumb um, first, basically your first overlay at all because you want it to be in the exact um, position that it was when it was first put into the video. So I'm just going to save this again as a PNG. So of course I'm going to move this one so it's right next to the first one. And you want to again make sure it's a cutaway and then make sure it is fit and click your check mark. And now it should look like the little thumb is popping up when I play it and then afterwards the little subscribe button will pop up. So now you have two um, overlays on the screen at the same time and you can keep doing this through PicMonkey for as many overlays as you want to. So the next tip that I want to show you guys is how you can move overlays in iMovie and kind of make them like animated so that they look super cool. So first thing I want to do of course is add um, my little thumb PNG file. You want to make sure it's a PNG and I just put that right on top of the clip and then you want to go to this first like double box Thing in your settings right here and you want to make it picture in picture. I never like having a dissolve that's like the way that the picture comes up. I don't like it to fade so I make that zero and then click the little check mark. For your crop you want to make sure it's fit and again click the check mark. So I'm gonna start with it right here and I kind of just want it to float around my head I guess. So what you want to do is start with your cursor over um, clicked onto the picture and you want to click this double box thing and click right here where there is the box and plus which means that you're adding a keyframe so once that's clicked it will look like that 
and you just want to um, press the spacebar to let the clip play for a little bit and then stop it and move your thumb to the place that you want it to go next. So I'm just going to move it down a little bit. I'm going to hit the space bar again. Stop it. Click this little keyframe thing. Move it. So you kind of just repeat this until it's the way that you want it to look. And I guess now for the ending, I will just kind of have it shoot off to the corner like so. And now if you go watch it, um, your little thumb will kind of move around and then it floats off. But yeah, the little keyframe note is an awesome feature that iMovie has and a lot of people don't know about that. So the next thing I want to show you guys helps me out a lot because I don't always have someone that can help me film and sometimes I want shots that look like they're moving but really they're still shots. So what you want to do is go up here to the cropping tool and click that and click Ken Burns and you're just going to make the start and end um, little boxes the exact same size. Now I like to kind of uh, move them exactly in line with each other but each on one side of the frame if that makes sense so that it goes from left to right and kind of looks like a panning motion so once you set everything this is what it looks like and I think it's really cool because it looks like somebody was filming you and helping you out but really, you have a still clip. The one thing that I use a lot in my videos is kaleidoscopes and different gradients to make my intros look really professional and cool looking. This one I got from Gabrielle Marie. I'm just going to put this into this iMovie movie. <laughs> now I'm going to click the two little boxes and make sure it's a cutaway, which it is, which is good. And I like to bring down the opacity. Some people I feel like really like to have it quite opaque but I kind of like it to be more in the background and that's how I do that and I also have used different gradients and stuff. So those are all the tips that I'm going to be sharing in today's how I edit my videos video. If you guys liked it then definitely thumbs it up but other than that as always I hope you guys are having a great day and an awesome summer and I'll see you soon. Bye!